During every spring calving season, uh, eventually a producer or perhaps a local newspaper will call because they want to know the incidence of multiple births in beef cattle. Some rancher has called and said that he had triplets this year uh, in one of the uh, cows out on the range and would like to know how often that actually occurs. So I thought today we would go through uh, what research uh, tells us about the incidence of multiple births in, in beef cattle. The most recent studies indicate that uh, twins occur in the area of about one in every 200 to one in every 250 births. Depends a little bit upon breed, uh, apparently affecting that just a little bit. So a half of 1% uh, is too expected to actually be twins. When you get into triplets, of course, that's pretty rare. The uh, research that was done a lot of years ago indicates that only about one in 100,000 births uh, actually turn out to be triplets. Now let's put that in perspective. If there's roughly two million beef cows in Oklahoma having uh, calves each year, then we would expect to uh, actually be about 20 sets of triplets in this state uh, during each calving season. So it does happen. When you get into quads, that's of course when you have four calves born alive that all survive, that one is extremely rare. The uh, data on that is very, very hard to come by. One estimate clear back in 1920 suggested that only one in every 665,000 births would actually turn out to be quads. And that would mean that in uh, a, a typical year in Oklahoma with two million beef cows, uh, someplace between one and two sets of quads would be what would show up. I thought this would give you some indication of the incidence of multiple births that occur in beef cattle. In dairy cattle, it's uh, actually more common. And uh, the, again, the research on this is pretty rare, but uh, with especially something like uh, the brown Swiss breed has been known to have a lot higher incidence of multiple births than we see in, for instance, Angus and Herefords on the beef side. We certainly do have occasionally multiple births in these beef herds across this state and across the entire United States. I always encourage producers to mark down the calf numbers and the cow number of especially a situation where there's a multiple birth that has both sexes because that heifer calf born twin or triplet to a bull calf is going to be very, very likely to be infertile a heifer calf that you do not want to save for a replacement. You want to make sure that you get her marketed at weaning time. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>